Hey everyone and welcome to Film Thoughts. I'm Adam and this week I'm going to be looking at Atomic Blonde. Be wary as there are minor spoilers ahead, though nothing that will ruin your experience of the film. I was pretty excited to see Atomic Blonde after I saw the trailer for it. It looked slick, stylish and funny, which is a great combination of things to have in a film. The film is based on the graphic novel The Colder City, which I didn't know before going to see the film. The story follows the Rain Burton, Charlize Theron, a spy who was sent to Berlin during the last days of the Cold War to investigate the murder of a fellow spy recover a list of active spies and also to assassinate the uh, double agent Satchel. Also in Berlin is eccentric British spy David Percival, James McAvoy, who uh, Burton uses to gain information. The whole film is structured around an interrogation between Burton and these two agents, Eric Gray, Toby Jones, and Emmett Kurtzfield, John Goodman. It's really well done and really brings an impact to the twists that happen throughout the film. The action in this film is amazing and brutal. There's a real weight to every punch, and it's all shot to look like it was done in one long shot, especially this one scene that's a complete seven minute thing, and it's so amazing to watch. Think the corridor scene in Daredevil season one and you're on the right track to what to expect from the action in this film. There's a couple of things I didn't like, like there's this totally out of the blue romance that I feel would have worked a lot better if it had time to develop. It also felt a bit slow in places, though it never drags. Also, it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be, and the film decided to take the more serious route. There are jokes in there, but they're not anything uh, genuinely hilarious or anything like that. The soundtrack, however, is absolutely brilliant. It features a few licensed tracks, including Blue Monday, Cat People, and 99 Luft Balloons. The original compositions that accompany these are all great and really capture the 80s setting and keep the blood pumping throughout the action scenes. Personally, even though I did enjoy the film, I don't think it's worth going to the cinema to see. There's nothing that the cinema would enhance your experience of like there was in Dunkirk. However, I do think that the film will be worth to purchase when it's on Blu-ray. So there you have it, my thoughts on Atomic Blonde. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to keep up to date to everything that we upload here on the name channel. Bye bye